YouTube. We are in New York City. Fashion Week is starting tomorrow, but I'm here a bit early to go to a few events. So I'm gonna get ready. I've already done my hair and makeup. I have my waves that I did in my last video and um, try to figure out what to wear. Okay, so I have this brown long dress looks cute in photos but you never know how it's gonna look on so let's let's try it on i was thinking this with like a little bit of or a lot of bit of gold jewelry i love neutrals so let's see if it works my other option is to do classic trousers like i always wear and um this really cool open blazer This is more evening and the other one is more daytime. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so I threw on the brown dress. It's super cute. I love the ruching. Let's put it back up so you can see it. It's really cute. Super chic. And then I added this gold jewelry. I love this one. It's from Tiffany's. And then this one was just sent to me. I'm not sure what the brand is. And then I added these gold rings. My pinky rings are by Shari. Um, and the other two, I don't know. We just went upstairs, took some photos. Of course, the light wasn't great in here for photos, so we ran upstairs to the rooftop and actually got some pretty nice pictures. Right now, it's time to get in the car and drive and head to the Balkani. I'm also adding this really cute Celine bag that I just got. I feel like it just ties in well. Of course you can't see. <laughs> it just really ties in the gold accent that I have going on. Let's go find their color. Oh, my boobs. I don't have a bra on. <laughs>
decided to lay down in the bed, look for a new show to watch. I just watched the show called Good Girls on Netflix and it was a really good show. I got addicted to it and when we went to, where did we just go? When we went to Ibiza? We went to Ibiza and we went to Italy and every night I would go to bed watching the show and also on the flights I would obsess over this show Good Girls. So I watched all four seasons in basically like two weeks because it was so addicting. Have any of you watched Good Girls? It's really good. I liked every, for those of you that did see it, I really liked every character and everything except the girl that has the young kid. Um, I didn't find her storyline to be that interesting. So whenever I would go to her, I would just skip through those parts because it was just the same repetitive story of the kid getting mad at the mom and the mom not being able to have a stable relationship and it just got like exhausting. So I'd always skip through those parts, but every other thing I thought was really good and catching and made you just want to keep watching more, which I think that's really good. And I'm looking for a new show to watch. So if any of you guys have any recommendations for a good new show on Netflix, Hulu, iTunes, Apple TV, whatever it may be, let me know in the comments because I need something to watch when I'm flying. I don't like drama shows that much. I really like comedies. Comedies are my favorite thing. So let me know if you have any comedy shows. It is so hard to get an eye makeup off. I usually could take my eyes off first and then I'll use soap and do like a normal wash. Tomorrow I'm doing a full day of content. So I have all these super cute outfits planned. Brought my good big camera. It's literally, it looks like a paparazzi camera. It takes the best photos and um yeah, so that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. And then I'm going to a presentation. Check it out. Because it's Fashion Week. And um, that's it. I'm gonna stop rambling because then you guys are gonna get really bored and be like, Jasmine, you're so boring. So I'm gonna sign off here and keep taking my makeup off and get ready for bed. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. I slept in today. It's about 10.30. I feel like this whole vlog is going to be me in the bathroom. <laughs> but I slept in today. It's pretty late. I was up until like 3 a.m. last night just like chilling. It's pretty crazy. I don't know why I couldn't sleep that well, but my amazing assistant Danny brought me some uh, Starbucks. I don't like caffeine, so I get a passion fruit iced tea with sweetener. It's my, it's my go-to, it's so good. And then I'm also just waiting on my celery juice, which I also drink every morning. Um, and we're getting ready for the day. I, I'm gonna shoot a bit more content. I'm doing my makeup now. I'm not gonna do a full makeup routine right now because I'm kind of in a hurry because I slept through the whole morning, but I, I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I'm using. So my current go-to foundation is this Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I use the color 14, Ambient 14, great. And I just use your typical beauty blender with that. And for my tired eyes, I use the Hourglass um, Vanish Concealer. This one's in Flex. And that's about all I'm gonna do. I'll put on a bit of blush, some mascara, and I'll do a real updated makeup tutorial when I have the full day. All right guys, look one to shoot. I'm shooting these Revolve shoes and I paired it with these white trousers and this really cute, like thin sweater all about business today. Business jazz. Let's go. I guess it
outfit, super cute tan dress. Uh, these are Michael Kors glasses. And it's really hard to find like a neutral area. Everything's so colorful and my Instagram is more like browns and creams and everything. So we found this door and we're gonna do some walking shots. Okay, doing a quick change. I put on these really cute earrings that I thought were super fun. Going for a really cool like old school 90s vibe. 90s supermodel vibe is what I'm going for with this. So I'm just gonna put my hair back in like a chic low bun. And then I thought it'd be fun to add a red lip because I never wore a red lip. All right, red lip on. It's so easy to look chic. <laughs> just throw a red lip, put your hair back, and some right. red jewelry. Okay, so we're trying to get this shot <laughs> just in the mirror. But to get the angle, I have to get in, in the bat. <laughs> so the mirror is here, and we're trying to. Danny's there. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that bad? Oh shit! Is it like a spotlight? Maybe I'll stand forward. A little yeah, bit. try standing forward. I can also turn it off. shooting almost all of my content for the day. I think we did like five different changes, which was really fun. We exhausted every corner of this hotel room, every street corner <laughs> that's outside of the hotel. And um, I have one more shot that I want to do. And it's like a dinner outfit look, but I need the sun to go down a little bit. So it looks like it's dinner time. And then I'll actually I just come upstairs and have room service because the hotel has really good buffalo wings and it just sounds really good. But before that, I am going to a presentation with a brand that I've worked with before and that I love called La Jeanne. So I have on a tan dress by them. It's a little similar to the one that I was just wearing. And um, I tried to make my hair look really nice, tucked it behind my ear. And I'm obsessed with this little earring that I'm wearing. Isn't that cute? Wait, can you see it? Let's see. Can you see it? <laughs> it's like a little shell. I love it. I also put my chunky gold rings back on. I love chunky gold rings and chunky gold bracelets. I think they're so nice. I actually don't own any chunky gold bracelets, so if you know any brands that have any good ones, let me know. So did a little talk on that side, clean on this side, and we have about 10 minutes for riding out. Ooh, I'm out of breath. My arm hurts. I'm tired. We've taken so many photos. I actually need to start doing a little bit of an edit. <laughs> pictures. This is my outfit. Ooh, coming and done. This is my outfit. It's a really cute wrapped blazer. Um, I need to put a belt on with this. And then this bag. How gorgeous is that?
All right, so I am back in New York. I went to LA for about two days and I just repacked my life, did a bit of JoJo work, and now I'm back in New York. And today I am going to the Michael Kors show, which will be super fun. I have a really cute dress on. Hold on, I'll show you. So I have this really cute dress on. It's just one sleeve and the side is open. It's, oh, telephone. All right, I am back. <laughs> it was Juan calling me. Um, so yeah, I had my makeup done by Marielle, who is amazing. We just went for something super soft. And then Danielle Priano and Anthony did my hair and we gave me long, luscious mermaid hair. I love long hair. If my hair was this long, I would be so happy. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the chorus show now. I'll take a bit of video footage there for what I can get. I feel like outside it's gonna be pretty hectic. It's always really crazy with all the photographers. Um, and if there's any good photos taken, I will definitely share them with you guys. I also forgot I'm going to add a black belt around here that just really finishes up the look. And then I'm wearing some black velvet Tom Ford boots that are so sick. Um, I wish I had them next to me, but I don't. Um, and yeah, all right, I'm going to the show. Gave you my heart, you could tear it apart. Mm -hmm. And if I tell you how I feel, would you be good to me? Good to me. Mm -hmm. All right, I am back from the Michael Kors show, and now I am getting ready to go to an event. And I put this cute little outfit together. This is just like a button up top that then I took and put it off the shoulders, paired it with a little gold belt and some black trousers. So it's like business chic, but a little sexy with the off the shoulder look. Give you a little close up of the glam. And the little top, the belt. Got this belt on Netta Porter. Wearing my Cartier watch. And that's the look for the second event. Hello, guys. I am back from the Event. I'm so exhausted. It's like midnight. I went to the event for a bit, which was super nice. And then I went to dinner at Nobu with some friends, which is always so delicious. I literally could eat Nobu every single day. The yellowtail jalapeno is to die for. Now I'm back at my hotel. My flight is at 6.30 a.m. So that means that I am getting picked up at 5 a.m. to go to the airport. So right now I'm just trying to pack my bag up the best I can. That way I can just sleep. Well, try to sleep and then wake up and just roll out. I am so exhausted and I can't believe I've been in New York for like 24 hours and I'm already way back. But tomorrow, when, right when I land, doing a Joja shoot, so I'll take you along with me there. And then after that, I'll probably cut this vlog off because I feel like if I don't, then it's just gonna keep going, 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 going. So um, yeah, I'm gonna take my makeup off and I will see you in LA at the Joja shoot. Good night. It's sunny out here, but we are now backstage right
about to go on. On stage, on stage. <laughs> we are completely hands on. We're talking like we're down at the factory twice a week, sitting there. This line does not work. We worked with fitness brands for so many years of our lives. We're all like, we that little line was just not cutting through the butt. So it didn't make it look flat. If we just, we have the female body in mind when we create shapes. And for us, it's so important that everything is flattering. So you just like look good. For when you look good, you feel good. You want to go to the gym. You feel more motivated. And just having a friend as well in the gym, just like waiting for you, that's cannot fail on your friend. But for me, it's like we are so on it and so like hands on with everything, like down to the thread, like down to I now know the different terms for stitching and like all these things that like, I never knew that I like flat lock over this specific stitch. I've now prioritized Joja and then modeling over each other. So I think it's it's been a nice shift for me because I did modeling for like 12 years, like full on modeling. And it's nice to, you know, take the next leap and sort of see a transition. Oh, nice.